In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add members to an Outlook group in just five minutes. Whether you're managing a team or coordinating a group project, knowing how to efficiently handle Outlook groups can be a game changer. Let's jump right in and walk through the process together, step by step. To begin, you'll want to navigate to the Outlook login page. This is the central hub where you can access all your Outlook features, and you'll need to sign into your account to get started. If you're using a Microsoft 365 account, you can simply follow the link provided on their official site to get to the login page. Once there, you'll see the sign in button prominently displayed. Go ahead and click on that and you'll be prompted to enter your credentials. Be sure to have your username and password handy as you'll need them at this point. After logging in, you'll be taken to your main Outlook dashboard where you can manage your emails, calendar and of course groups. For this tutorial, focus on accessing your mail, so go ahead and select mail from the menu or the main screen. This will redirect you to your inbox, serving as a gateway to access more functionalities including groups. Once in your inbox, direct your attention to the left panel of the screen where you'll see a list of options such as inbox, sent items, drafts and more. Among these you'll find the groups option. Click on groups to view the list of all the groups you are a part of or have created. This is a crucial step as it allows you to manage those groups effectively, adding or removing members as needed or even creating new groups to streamline your communication further. Next, you'll see a list of groups you have access to. From here, choose the group you wish to add members to. This action will open up more options and give you a detailed view of that particular group's settings and current members. If you manage multiple groups, take a moment to ensure you've selected the correct one as we'll proceed with making changes to its membership. Having selected the desired group, your next step is to focus on managing its members. Within the group interface, look for a tab or section labelled Members. Click on this and it will reveal a list of all current members within the group. Here is where you have the power to add new members, remove existing ones or modify permissions. An essential feature if you are managing a dynamic team or project. To add a new member, find and click on the Add Members button. This usually stands out, making it easy to identify amongst other options. As you click, Outlook will prompt you with a dialog box or search field where you can input the name or email address of the person you wish to add. Ensure that you have the correct spelling and details of the member's email. A small discrepancy can lead to you inviting the wrong person. The next step is to enter the individual's name or email address into the provided field. As you type, Outlook might offer suggestions based on your previous interactions or your organization's contacts. You can select from these suggestions or continue typing to enter a new contact. This feature assists in preventing errors and speeds up the process when dealing with frequent contacts. Once you've entered the correct details, the final task is to officially add them to your group. You'll find the Add button nearby, typically right below or beside the input field. Click Add to confirm your new member's entry into the group. It's as simple as that. Your new member will now receive a notification granting them access to group conversations, documents and any shared resources right from their own Outlook dashboard. And there you have it, a straightforward method to augment your Outlook groups by adding new members swiftly and efficiently. This feature is particularly useful for organisations looking to foster collaboration and ensure seamless communication within teams. Remember that with great power, like managing group memberships, comes the responsibility to keep your data and communication channels secure. Always double check who you're adding to ensure privacy and maintain professionalism. Thank you for following along with today's tutorial. By following these steps, you can manage your groups easily, keeping everyone in the loop and your projects running smoothly. If you found value in this guide, be sure to like and subscribe for more tips and tutorials designed to make your digital work environment work for you. Happy organizing.